Southside High School, one of America's great high schools. is celebrating 50 years of educational excellence. Nineteen sixty three to two thousand and thirteen. In the early nineteen sixties, as Fort Smith's population increased, it became evident that a second high school was needed. Direction of Chris Corbett, superintendent, a new school was constructed. The first new high school built since 1927. Opening in 1963-64. Southside began as a 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th grade school. With an enrollment of 971 students. And in 1966, Southside had its first graduating hundred and eighty two graduates. Victory e. Stewart was chosen as the new principal of Southside. And it was his leadership, philosophy, and vision. Southside on the path for educational excellence. Mr. Stewart served 19 years as principal of Southside. He was assisted by William Carver, the first Dean of Boys. by Mary Randall Dyer, the first Dean of Girls. Bill Lewis was the first Director of Guidance. Many firsts took place during those early years. The first students arrived. First traffic jam. The first cheerleaders. The first pep rally. The first teacher cheering section. The first football team. First fire drill. The first choir. The first band. The first student council. The first American flag raised over Southside. And the first
first Confederate flag raised over Northside. The first coach lifted on his players' shoulders. The first PTA open house. The first yearbook. First graduation. And the first graduate, Denny Altus. Southside High School, a great past, a grand present, and a more glorious future.